Season 2, Episode 2, Part 2. Not gonna be able to say that very often, so might as well use it while I can. Causing havoc. Really havoc. Do you really think that beating me in a duel right here and right now is gonna get your job back? Law of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> no, Hugo, or at least make me feel better. I don't believe that this is going to get my job back. But if it means I can finally put you down for good, I'm all into it. Now I draw. I'll start my turn by playing the spell card, Frenzy Fangs. This spell equips to my monster and gives it an additional 300 attack points. Big whoop. If I wasn't going to lose enough life points it's already. Invigoration. Now go, Frenzy Fenrir, attack and destroy Pocket High Foo Wolf. Or would I? I discard Pocket Shock Booster from my hand, and by doing so, High Fu Wolf gains 1,000 attack during damage calculation mm. only. Now go, High Fu Wolf! Destroy Frenzy Fenrir! Well, he doesn't take any damage. <laughs> I activate the effect of Shadow Fire in my graveyard. Huh? By banishing this card, I can prevent my monster from being destroyed. And again, we don't Still do damage. Mate. Not quite. Now, I will activate the effect of Frenzy Fangs. By discarding a card from my hand, my monster can attack again this turn. Uh oh. Oh, yes. And according to you, your monster's attack bonus only lasts until the end of damage calculation. Dang it. Which means your monster's attack points are reduced to normal. Now go, Fenrir. Attack and destroy Pocket High Foo Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> now at least we survived an extra turn. With no other cards I can play, I'll end my turn. You wouldn't have been able to do that without that card. Okay, I draw. <laughs> Since this is the only monster in my hand and there's a pocket monster in my graveyard, I can discard Pocket Storm Owl from my I hand. I thought we are going to get a pocket bubble cards. man. <laughs> so you're replenishing your hand. Okay. <laughs> and then... I will activate from my hand the spell card Monster Reborn to bring back Pocket High Fool. Oh no. Hmm. Yep. And I think you know what's happening a next. A further evolution? I XP card from the graveyard nope. to double his attack points. Which one is saying a further evolution? And considering that your monster has 2800 attack and your life points are only 2200. We can't do battle damage, but we can do you know burn where damage. This is going. You're finished, Havoc. I didn't want to do this. But you leave me no choice. Hi, fool! Destroy Fenzi Fenrir and end this duel. K9 Knuckle. I'm gonna guess that Crypto has a bonus effect. <laughs> Yet, before your monster skill inflicts damage to my life points, I banish Frenzy Crystal from my graveyard. By doing so, alongside one other Frenzy monster, the damage I take by your monster skill is halved. Mm. <laughs> Hanging on to dear life, I see. Okay, I got nothing else to do. Fine. I set two cards face down and end my turn. Draw. Havoc. How far are you gonna go with this? As far as I, I need to. Rest until my revenge is fully complete. Activate spell card. Unexpected die. Now <laughs> I can special over. summon a normal monster from my deck. Oh, not I that guy. Might be. Three normal monster. Frenzy pop. I activate. The spell card, Evolutionary Sacrifice. Uh-oh. I've heard that before. Isn't that the same card that... Yeah. It's the same card that I use. Mostly due to the fact that it was the same card that Havoc gave to me. It's like we came Clearly from the, the same dimension. My life. <laughs> How fitting. The card I gave you on your very first mission is going to be the card that will write your tombstone. Now I use it to evolve my level 3 Frenzy Pup! I expand the DNA strand, and I evolution summon. Come forth level 6, Frenzy Omega! Ah, Zero crap. attack points? Not quite. Never be a... His original attack becomes 1,000. Equal to the number of Frenzy There's one thing I've learned from you, Gio. It's that if a monster has zero attack three. points, so this run! attack becomes 3,000! Oh no. But I'm not done. I was like I thousand eyes idol. Evolutionary sacrifice from my graveyard and target one beast or beast warrior monster I control, and that monster's attack points double. But during the end phase, your monster will be destroyed. Not quite. That's assuming Omega you live long enough. Omega cannot be destroyed by card effects. 
Your monster, on the other hand, can pretty well be destroyed by battle. <laughs> Finally. I've been waiting so long to do this. Frenzy Omega, attack Pocket High Fu Wolf. I have two face down duel, cards. Shattering Dark Flame. Hugo. No, not yet. I activate the Quick Play Spell Sword Ritual. Oh. With this spell okay. card, I can double High Fu Wolf's attack points until the end of the turn. It's not enough to save your monster. No, well, not my monster. But it is no, enough to save my life points. Sometimes that's all that matters. Not that that's safe. But Omega has another ability. Since it destroyed your monster, they all go. Oh, crap. I forgot about Pocket the Karibo. Karibo. It's over, Hugo. You have no monsters. I doubt that your face down would even save you. This is over. You would have activated if it could have. I end my turn. And during the end phase, I banish one XP card from my graveyard. To keep my monster. Oh, that's right. Due to one of the evolution cards you activated okay. earlier, his normal monsters count as evolution oh, cards. This doesn't work. I lose. Okay. First, I'll activate my trap card, Evolution Reborn. This lets me bring Pocket Kai Fu Wolf back from my graveyard to the field. Nice. Its skills are negated and its attack points are reduced to zero, but that's fine by me. What does that matter? Your monster has zero attack points. It can't see. It's in you. defense mode, dude. Because I'm not done yet. Now I'll send one pocket monster from my deck to the Mirror graveyard cat? in order to special summon back from my graveyard pocket shot booster. Hmm. Of course, it's banished when it leaves the They field. usually have that effect. It's fine by me. Where are you going with this? I'll show you where I'm going with this. I activate one more card the spell card. Polymerization! Oh, I thought we were what? going for... I thought it was... Polymerization? Was going to end up being a tuner monster. summon? How did you... <laughs> when you hang out with the Lancers long enough, you actually learn a thing or two. Now I'll fuse both my monsters together. I, Fusion Summon, come forth. Pocket Thunder Lichen. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I like this thing's design. Moments. Your monster has only half the attack points of my monster. I love how no one in Yu-Gi-Oh! knows right. what an effect is. He gains 500 <laughs> At least in the anime. Every pocket monster in my graveyard. Bringing him up to 1600. A 1600. But our monster's attack points are the same. They'll destroy each other. Maybe. But he has another effect. When this monster was fusion summoned using pocket high true wolf as a fusion material, and it attacks and destroys your monster, you take damage equal to the destroyed monster's attack, even if this monster leaves the field. Oh boy. What? No! No! That's right. Follow Both Jurassic Park, Mother Flipper. Short, My shirt says so. But well, his shirt, life you know. points won't survive. Now. Go! Thunder Lichen, attack and destroy Frenzy Omega! And end this duel! Fist before the storm! Nice name. No! Oh! That's... Game. Ah, what? what? Frenzy Crossfire? That's right. With this trap card, I can reduce the damage that I take from your monster's effect by half. And then you take the other half as damage. Oh, damn it. It's one of those. That means that's right. It's a draw. It's duel. It's a draw. <laughs> Ugh! But why? I hate whenever that happens. What it's I like, said. what's that? It's over. I wouldn't nope. mind either of us winning. But nevertheless, I still want revenge, which is why we're going to do it uh, again. Now? How long do you plan on keeping this up? Until I win. Until either one of us win, Hugo. You can't end every if you duel were go in a draw. If you're so bring out you your ended the duel in a draw and, and B until one of us win. I was about to, yeah, then you activate your trap card. Coming. <laughs> Smoke grenade. Uh, uh, Use flash. What happened? A flash grenade. They escaped. No. 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 I like how that's a bit of consistency between both Search of the series. The One series uses Search flash, the other series has a flash the grenade. Dimension if you have to. I will not the Turners aren't the only thing that says stays in continuity between both universes. 
Yes, sir. Oops. I would. I would. You all right there, sleepyhead? <sighs> Sorry, I had a head cam. Just like, what if we had a science and magic unleashed universe? But that wouldn't make any sense. There's no way Yu Gi Oh and Crossover with Pokemon. It wouldn't make sense. Why? May I ask? I mean, maybe yeah. in the card games, yeah, but opening. Pokemon doesn't have a train card game anime yet. Gave me just the opening I needed. I guess. You think we lost them? They're over there. Not for long. Come on. Right. Jesus, is that a hole in the ground? Fascinating. State the obvious. I know. Hello, Viper. Master Methylus. Viper, how may I assist I like how we're doing up the entire university and we still have this, required, master. what looks like, I, just I don't know, a teacher's lounge? I what your men uncovered earlier. Ah, the item. It appeared that my men found a box. A box. Think it has anything to do with the card that we're looking Let me guess, for? we can't get it open. Well, I think this is kind of obvious. I sense a powerful presence within it. So that means it's most likely that the Supreme King Dragon is within inside the box. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be this easy. It's All not. All you have to do is open the box and the card is ours, right? That's the problem. Well, I would have done that by now, but it appears that the box is locked. Not a problem then. All we have to do is destroy the box and then the card is ours. I don't think so. I've already tried some of my powers on the box earlier, and it appears that the box is made of an indestructible material. I suppose that would explain how the box was behaving. It's made of an indestructible material. Whatever the frig they used to make childproof safety locks. Hmm. I see. Then what exactly do we do? Maybe you just consider getting a sledgehammer, my dude. Or a chainsaw. And then we use that key to obtain the card. But to get that key, you have to do this side quest from this side quest, and it's one of those things. What is the key? Love, trust, in the American way. Who is, in your opinion, has the most tragic Yu-Gi-Oh character and why? Didn't we do this one already? <laughs> um, well, I answered... In the previous episode as to what like the tragic backstory was and sort of that sort of thing So I guess in this one, I'll just answer it in a different way uh, as in like well uh, mm -hmm. I guess with this one. I'll just be like what ended up happening to the tragic character like wh What happened to a character in Yu-Gi-Oh who had a tragic ending in terms of character in general like what happened to their character and in that like in real life, not in the, I think you know where I'm getting from from this, like, but for my money, the biggest one comes to Akiza, or Aki from, of course, Five Days, because she's the easiest one to point to, her and Carly and all that stuff, just because the series got essentially rebooted in a sense, like, I'll always consider her the most tragic thing, kind of Alexis around season four of GX, considering, but then again, Alexis never really did too much in the first place, but, so it wasn't that big of a ship. Bastion of GX. Yugo has a history of like these characters that have this big build up that go nowhere. Although in Akiza's case, it's because fucking Black Wings were popular, which I will I'll never forgive Black Wings for. It's just. <laughs> the things made money so they couldn't kill Crow and go with their original strategy. Who knows? Maybe Akiza would have returned in Arc 5. I don't think that would have made the series any better, but it would have been something different and we could have actually had some more girl service besides Alexis. Not that I had a problem with Alexis being in R5, it's one of those things to be like more, but I don't know. What could have been, eh? Maybe in an alternate universe. Uh, other than that, uh, not really. I mean, I could keep, stand here for a while and keep listening to tragic characters that like what happened. Like, any of Yugi's friends that weren't named Joey? Um, uh, what else is there? There is Zex, so in which case... The tragedy is that Zexo exists as a franchise? Okay, not that much. I did like Shark and Kite. Those were like the only two characters I could take away. And I sometimes liked Astro's snarky remarks, but that's just me. Um, I didn't see that far into Varane's. And Arc 5, uh, basically half the cast. Although I guess Enjoy Chojuro comes to mind. I don't know why, but when I think of it, 
Oh, and uh, his three little lackeys from the je from the original dimension, like two, three kids, in which one of them, one of the four kids, made German for some reason, which I actually enjoyed the German version more than the original, just because Shiverleu got on my art nerves too fucking fast. So yeah, what do you guys think is the most tragic character in terms of what happened to their characters? Let me know. See ya.